I hope you're all having a wonderful day and today we're going to be going through the patch notes now I was just working on a future video but I was you know I just thought maybe I should just go on Reddit and it seems there is a new patch note so the ADS time for all the weapons have been increased now now that the patch notes have been out for quite a while so I am late to this but there has been lots of complaints about the ADS time let me know what you think all the every single weapon in the game has had a ADS time increase they said that before Ember Rise, there was an overhaul for the animations which caused the ADS time to decrease so they kind of just reverted to how it was but it's kind of a bit too slow in my opinion I think it's just a nerf to attack because on defense you can pre ADS and get easy kills whereas with attack you know you kind of have to un ADS so you get a view of where the defenders are but it's, it's hard to explain but I think this ADS time increases a nerf to the attackers and it's hard enough to attack already so me personally I'm not a big fan of the ADS time increase but who knows let me know what you think coming up next we have Echo now Echo can now be hacked by Dokubi. More importantly, the Yokai drone can be hacked by Dokubi. So when Dokubi kills a player, you hack the phones and then you can look for the Yokai drones. Also, the Yokai drone will kind of have a light effect on it, so it now will be easy to spot. However, it still can be cloaked and the lights will show when it's not cloaked. I'm not sure how it is when it is cloaked. I'm not sure if the lights come up while it is actually cloaked. Who knows? But yeah, Echo is now vulnerable to Dokubi which is a buff to Dokubi and a nerf to Echo. Hopefully this will bring down the ban rate on Echo, who knows. Coming up next we have Blackbeard. Now the ADS personalization with Blackbeard will only apply with Blackbeard's gun shield right, when it's equipped but the weapons without the gun shield will man maintain the same as the uh, other timings like assault rifles and all the other weapons i feel like what they're trying to do with the ads time is kind of give the angled grip a bit more love because it's it's a bit obvious that the vertical grip gets picked a lot more over the angled grip but bearing in mind not every single weapon has an angled grip so maybe that is something they would have to change but the ads time is a big overhaul next up we have ella ella's recoil has been reduced for the first 16 bullets hopefully this will bring down the recoil on Ella. Maybe Ella is now more playable and people will play her shotgun list and the scorpion will get a bit more love. Now Ella mains can get those really cool clips of destroying people with the first 16 shots but any preceding shots after that will just remain how it is in the live build. Finker's spear has been increased, the damage has been increased to 42 up from 38. They have done this because they feel like the Finker's spear is underperforming, so that's just a little nice buff to Finker. Jaeger, this is a big one. They reduce Jaeger's damage to 38 down from 43. That's a whole 5 HP. That is massive. I feel like Jaeger and Wamai really now have a competition because I believe Wamai's weapon will now do more damage than Jaeger. So this really will mix things up with Wamai and Jaeger. This is going to be a big, big deal. Next up, we have Maestro. The egg hog on Maestro's Elder has been removed. This is... What even am I reading? Am I... Uh... I need to, am I reading this right? The ACOG has been removed from Maestro. I mean, I don't play ACOG on anyone really because I play really low FOV, but man, was there really any need for this? They want to see if its removal will highlight its other great qualities. No, it won't. Just, who knows? Maybe I'm speaking too soon. Knock and Smoke, the increased FMG 9 damage to 34 up from 30. Now that is going to make Knock so much better. That is crazy. Now the damage is actually going to be really good and hopefully the weapon won't suck as much yeah maybe knock doesn't need an mp7 maybe you just need to buff the weapon she has so now they said we want to give her a bit more confidence to make full use of her identity to sneak around and take 1v1 situations and gunfights hopefully that will be a bit more easier with the more damage ying ying pandellas now have a new outline that is visible only to ying Improved distribution of cluster flashes to make the flash more reliable so it will now spread across the room more. Number of pellets per candela increased to 7 up from 6. So Ying will now pretty much have more flashes. You're going to guarantee to be flashed more often and that just makes Ying overall a bit more powerful and more reliable 
in her gadget. Pellet's detonation time has been reduced to 0 0.3 seconds. So when you you know you do throw it in, it will pretty much just go off immediately after it's been rolled in. But obviously you will still have that effect of having to charge it up. And that is pretty much everything. Everything else is just bug fixes, but those are all the changes to the game. Bear in mind, this is the TTS, so this might not come to the live build, but that is pretty much everything. I'm sorry I'm late to the video, but it's just crazy, man. Let me know what you think. What are you most excited about with this patch note? What are you disappointed about? And yeah, that is pretty much everything. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and make sure to check out my future videos. You're all amazing. I love you all and goodbye. <laughs>